This is Gerald to Anne van Maas and the educational channel of demonstrations regarding uh, what can be found already as an introduction in sounding form and uh, slightly more developed in development of the word and the application of the word. And this is still in further development and you are witnessing the uh, more details of what you can do with the underlying theory foundation that there is where that says that we uh, orientate ourselves with letters themselves as if the letters are directions of thought and this is a natural order that is followed there and I have this natural order in a system and uh, this natural order can be learned and from there you can start also to to make formation processes that you can uh, realize more better how the words themselves are directing you into a certain uh, intended uh, direction that is needed for uh, yeah to understand the words and to understand the directions of thought and all letters have an order that is systematic is as an order of actually three sorts of directions of your mind directions and these directions are the recognition of uh, points in space uh, or the anticipation to points of placement there are another a a couple of letters uh, if a slightly more difficult complexity they are actually uh, saying which direction the changes are going the growth processes are going and the last category of letters are uh, saying basically that you have to reorientate yourself and yeah and find the context to do so and these three ways of thinking are uh, the basis of the full foundation for the letter interpretation and here they are more or less uh, resumed so we have the first nine letters in the numerical order of Pythagoras where they are uh, systematically brought into and can be derived to points in space with a center volume or edge uh, position with one two or three positions that you can find at the same time and not more than that they are completely um, yeah this is a complete foundation for the placement the next order is about yeah, replacements or changes of place so they are not in an exact point where you can find them or they are somewhere else or they are moving towards somewhere else these are so the dominating factor will be the directions finding the directions finding the direction where they go to where is of course what you need for changes of directions the next couple of dimensions that are based in time and the last ones are actually the reorientations by context so that's basically the theory the first uh, letters, of course, um, no, uh, are basically trying to find the center points of attention so that you can define the object and, uh, and uh, yeah, you can uh, place the object and you can tr start to start from there. So you have uh, the definitions also that start from there. That's what do is dominating the and so in one, two, three positions and one, two, three points, you can have all these objects there. The stranger thing is that uh, on a, what, what could make me confusing, and I never thought about that before, but actually it is uh, the, the three ways of thinking of giving it an order are actually always there. That's why, for instance, an A is basically, it's a point in space that you can say, okay, here is my starting point and I have it. But if you start to use it, it's also, you can also start to 
bring it into the context of movement or bring it into a larger context or bring it into the context of, of all the changes. So you could do that. You could have these focuses uh, there. They are there all the time, but they are all there also in a different balance. The, in the first nine letters, the defining of the centers in space will be dominated. But gradually, the other regions of change of movement will be involved and they are actually always there in a different proportion it's all about proportions so also the movement so the progression the moves can be added into the same letters the moves the progressive moves are in the beginning it's it's dominated by the placements they will follow they will follow the placements but gradually when it evolves and the complexity go, goes further and further it will also evolve away let's say and at a certain point even such a uh, such a way that it will move away from what you know you start to doubt somewhat there is a doubtful direction so also there these directions uh, of, uh, of growth, of uh, progression are there, but also the element of doubt, which is growing with each order of complexity. And the, more, uh, the, the higher complexity is, the more it will be dominating that the doubtful moments that you, uh, that you see there will be more dominating as well talked about what that all means uh, before but here in this video I will tell you this is part one I will tell you the placements in space in context of the growth processes and in context of the doubt so in these three regions are always there and that also explains why the A, for instance, is not always only about this is a placement in place, in a space. I have this center and that's it. I could also make it grow like anything. I can see where is my doubt there. There's a degradation, a, a, a great a level of, of, uh, of how much growth process is involved and how much doubt is involved of course in the beginning i start with the processes this growth process will be the minimum and the doubt will be the minimum and then these elements will increase by each letter and i will tell you how and which order and it will explain all the associations that you will have with these letters and that can be found within the usage of these letters and they will act accordingly by when you choose these letters they will have this region of thought anyhow so let's go for, to all these nine letters in this first video so you have here the letter a <clears throat> so this is my focus so now i also will take it from the vision point of my focus where is the eye in my focus it's in the middle of my focus very easy it can be defined it can be found that's the first region of thought so it's an, i have the object of thought notes and dominating as in all these nine letters will be noticing its place oh i notice its place it's in the middle of my it's in the center of my attention it's very easy a is the easiest letter what that uh, to that uh, regards um, in, in regards to that and then what where is the progress so i can continue to with it i can i can include it into a growth process and it doesn't change a thing it's it remains in my center and i can include it in this secondary 
way of thinking, so I deal with it. it, it fits within it. And I also have no doubts about it. That's how I think with the A. It's, it's, uh, it's about my own focus. I have no doubts here. So here everything works because it's centered and it keeps uh, uh, it, its center there. So what will happen with my next focus? It's slightly off focus, so I can still see it. I can still see it within my range. I still can see it in as a placement. It's not totally centered, but I can see it. It's so the focus is still completely within my reach. I know it's within my reach, so I can also continue to grow with it and to have it increased. So it's still in this case, on this level of focus, also the growth process is involved, but it's involved in a way it's also in progress. It's everything is in progress. It's within my whole range of my focus. And I also have still no doubt that it will work. And that's the focus of T, of T. That's also the mindset behind this focus. Next focus is reaching its point that it is yeah it's still within my reach it's at the limits of my reach it's at the borders of my reach and so it's still noticeable so it is noticeable physically so it's still uh, uh, dominated with place and in a way i can still uh, see its starting point so I can also follow it from its starting point where it is but there is a part of it because it's at the edge of the border I can't see if it would be changing if it would be growing I can't see it anymore so there is already a moment of thought I can't see where it is going and that's the focus and the mindset of the K the K is used there where you can still see it physically, but you're no longer sure where it was will going, where are the limits and so on. It's at the border. That's why also these three aspects are there. It's about the physical place, but the movement itself is involved. It's probably, if it's involved, it's probably already going somewhere where we can't follow it anymore. And that is also the, where it will have this doubt, because it's the edges of what, what I can see. And then we have the doubled focus, so the two objects within one focus. Uh, so, and we deal with the, that idea, it's on the next level, we deal with the idea, so there might be a part of it that uh, will go to somewhere I don't know, but we will restart our focus, we will redo our focus, we will take two objects within one focus and I will make it physical, I, it is recognizable, so the physical dominance is there. But there is an influence of the doubt, we already deal here with the idea of doubt, by splitting this idea into two points of reference and one of these references we sure, surely know where it is going and we will mostly follow that part so we would know where it is going and we will know uh, but there's a part which we don't know so that's the ooh there's a part which is remaining in the unknown and we leave it like that so we're not going to deal with that too much the u or the ooh will be used and what will be used? The part that we can follow, the part that we can keep within our range. That's the mindset of it. So we will overcome the doubt and continue its certainty. That's what will be associated with U or U as a letter. And that's the mindset in the three contexts of focus, what we will use and how and why we will use the U in a certain way, I will uh, talk about that in some other uh, videos better. But this is the mindset, this mindset, this background of mindset, how we react to the placement of U is, is related with these three mindsets, this combination of three mindsets is uh, 
uh, still dominating by finding its place i found its place that's where i have it's uh, it there's a difference there some difference that's why it's uh, split in two there is some difference but i follow what i know same thing with l there is a difference differences it's at the material but also here we continue what is recognizable we continue the part which we know it is growing within our field of observation so we follow the leads of what we can follow within our vision so we keep an eye on the limits of the progress because we, we should actually keep an eye on the limits of the progress in the back of the mind but in an idealistic way we will simply follow the material that is within our focus and we don't deal too much with the material that we don't see we don't know where it is going we will follow the progress in its most optimistic uh, way the way we can follow it up that's how it is that's how the three regions are dealt with as a mindset or focus or l remember that. what will happen with the b the b is again at the limits of our our understanding the limits of our our vision but we know it is uh, we were still following what is progressing in the physical space we follow what we can see we follow its progressive things so we have an objective it's reachable and we know it has uh, there are limitations to where we can follow but still just like the l we continue to follow what we can see and by following what we know and only what we know we overcome also the doubt process because and it breaches also this doubt process it is breaching and overcoming the limitations because we keep our focus and our mindset on the physical world on what works and we follow what works physically that's the mindset of the b we'll go to the next level into the and it is split into three parts in this case so there will be more differences that we will deal with and these differences will be like a compromise it's the this the c is the c of compromising and the compromising means that we still will go for the progressing movement in a physical way but we also deal that there will we know that there will be a part that we don't know and there will be a part that we know and here we try to combine uh, everything which is happening so we already deal with a more subtle way of material or centralized focus in this case centralized focus that we find a compromising form of directions one part will be usable one part will be easy to follow we also remain within all the limits of the doubt and follow as good as possible everything which is already developing there so we are dealing with the the the, the element in a way that we also realized the previous letter we deal with it that we could breach what we don't know and it will still work as a combination and uh, this uh, it will go increase even more with the m in the material it's that's the whole material in all the material that we have we will see all these options all these different options all these different elements it doesn't matter we will try to follow its whole full progress and uh, we will keep in mind the uh, the the idea the the knowing that there are limitations that, that we are limited to certain capacities to 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 see what is possible and what is not possible the m uh, is the whole thing the physical thing that we can work with we see 
and we work within its boundaries what we can work with and we do we maximize this with the whole material and all its variations that are there that's basically the m and the mindset of m how you use it how you associate it and why you use this letter in certain words and as word associations the last letter which is still focused on the physical world on the three-dimensional focus on placements in space but here it's truly it truly is at the limits of what we can see uh, even at the limits of that we can still recognize it it's hardly recognizable it's hardly definable it's all uh, we know it is breaching all the limitations from what our center point of vision of what we can see where it is going to it will definitely go somewhere else uh, we no longer do, uh, know what it is there is in this case the doubt part the third part the third part of thinking is already more dominating so the doubts where it is going is the most certain Thing in the physical world that we can have this so in the last part the doubts is the most dominating but it can be dealt with we have it within our reach of the physical world we can still define it we can define it it is yeah it's my X yeah I know it's, a, it's the X the X factor we don't know but we can still define it define it that's the X the unknown factor is already there but we can yeah we still define it we define it as an alien we define it as a, oh yeah my ex it's a, we can define it it's something real enough to have it named as something physical that's how it is but you can sense already it is already going in its own direction it's no longer following our own center point of vision of uh, uh, following the physical world so now it has a physical world on its own and it's following it's following its own path already and there it is also the breaching point of our first level of on level of understanding the elements that are within reach of our centralized position of physical definable placements in space is no longer so much uh, yeah, where you can count on you can't count on X so much anymore so it's better to see and watch more carefully to, to look at it and see okay where is it really going and this just check where it is going and the attention that is leading towards that going to where when how is the next focus of attention it's no longer the physical place but it is it needs the element of time and that's my next video these are the next couple of level of complexity of letters and letters associations and the mindsets that it will trigger that way to when you use these letters anyhow i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching this was gerald Duan van der waas again there's a website too where you can have the list of videos as well subscribe subscribe to the youtube channel if you want to have updates and uh, more instructions or ideas or whatever soon thanks again bye bye